This is PMA Fitness. All right, guys, welcome to your dumbbell workout. Um, and all you need is a set of dumbbells, a bottle of water, a little bit of space, and we're gonna rock and roll. So we are going into a 20 minute workout. Same deal, guys, for those who are brand new to this uh, channel, brand new to this workout. We are going to work at hour 100% for 40 seconds, rest for 20, and we will repeat this process for 20 minutes, okay? Now, I'm just gonna put 20 minutes up on my clock, which is behind you, but there'll be a clock right there somewhere. Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Okay, cool. So let me demonstrate the first movement for you. This top will come off soon because it's a little bit cold now, but it won't be in a little bit. So first movement is gonna be a deadlift high pull, okay? So the weight's in front of us, we're going to hinge at the hips and we're then stand up and pull the weights up into our chin, okay? So, easy way to, to say this is like taking down your pants and lifting up your top. So here, you're going to take down your pants, the ankles, and then lift your top up. That's all we're going to be doing. If you do it the other way around, all right. Okay, cool. So, we're going to get straight into this. Uh, let's begin. 10 second countdown. 40 seconds, deadlift, high pull. So, deadlift, stand tall, high pull. And just try and move through that transition smoothly. That's all we want to see. So, the hinging of the hip, what that means is you're pushing those sit bones out. Slight bend in your knee, your knees will do what they do naturally. Just come to the mid of your shin, stand up tall, and pull the weight up to your chin. And you've got about seven seconds remaining. Awesome job. Last three, last two, and one. Next mid, me, next move, sorry, you've got 20 seconds rest, just watch me, is an alternating Romanian deadlift. So, all we're gonna do is single leg deadlift now. So weights are in our hands. We're staying, same move with the hinge of the hips. We're going in four, we're going in three, we're going in two, let's go. So we're there guys, and so what this movement is targeting is everything down the back of our legs, okay? You keep moving, our glutes, our hamstrings, our posterior chain, and everything down the back, okay? So find your rhythm, a little bit of balance is uh, required here. If two weights are too heavy, just use one weight. Hold one weight in both hands. You've got 10 seconds remaining, okay? So you should be there both. If, if, do you know what? If weights are too heavy or you're not managing to find your balance, drop the weight so you can do this with your body. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. So now that we're a little bit warm, we now need to raise our heart rate up. So we're gonna go into some skis, okay? So it looks like this. You're gonna push out, ski up, push down, up, push down, up. Hold those weights nice and tight. <sighs> That's all we're gonna do. And we've got to rock and roll now. Ah! Let's do it. Okay, you're in. 40 seconds. Up. <sighs> nice, guys. Find that nice swing, find that nice momentum. Looking good. <sighs> Okay, good, you've got 20 seconds left. This is working everything from head to toe. Really nice, really nice. Last seven, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. 20 second rest. Right, I need to demonstrate these quicker. I'm getting lost away over the time. We've got a shoulder press now. So weight to stay on our shoulders. We're just gonna push up and come back down. Push up and come back down, okay? You're gonna be there in seven seconds. That ski one's just, uh, just beautiful. Three, two, one, here we go. So weight on your shoulders, press and back down. Just gonna make sure I'm in frame. You can see all of my body. Now you can rest these weights on your shoulders the whole time, uh, for as long as you wish, but just try and keep the weights in your hands the whole time. Don't drop them down to the floor. And when you do these presses, you've got 20 seconds left. 
Think about your legs being solid, really squeeze your glutes, you want a nice solid foundation, working that shoulder, working that tricep. You've got 10 seconds left. You're killing this, guys. Well done. Into your last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. From there, it's a tricep overhead extension. So with both weights, it looks like this, okay? Weight to touch him, you're gonna extend and try and touch the upper back. If one weight is two weights too heavy, we just use one, okay? We're going in three, we're going in two, and one. Let's go, 40 seconds. Again, we wanna squeeze our legs, our glutes, make that trunk solid, and just isolating that tricep. Think about your shoulders, your biceps even kind of kissing your ears, so you keep it nice and tight. 20 seconds left. Now normally our triceps are quite a weak muscle, okay, because we don't really use it that much. Uh, we tend to pull things rather than push them away from us. So this is a great movement to strengthen that muscle. We've got five, we've got four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Next one's a renegade row. So Spread your feet out nice and wide, and you're just going to pull the weight off the floor. Hup. Hup. Like so. Really squeeze those glutes. You've got to keep your hips parallel to the floor for this one. We're going four, we're going three, we're going two, and one. Renegade rows, let's go. I'm just going to do a few more of these because for those who don't know, I had an operation on my left arm where I tore my bicep tendon. So. The pressure on my arm still hurting a little bit. Ooh, poor me. But anyway, I'm just being smart. 20 seconds left. Rip the weight off the floor. Really kind of keep that core tight. If your hips are swinging and swiveling and waddling away, try and squeeze your glutes. You've got 10 seconds left. Last few repetitions. Awesome job, guys. For four, for three, for two. And one, beautiful. From there, modified burpees. Looks like this. So, all we're gonna do is from that plank position, just gonna jump in, stand up. Down, out, in, stand up. That's all we do. We're going five, four, three, two, and one. Let's rock and roll. Nice. Down to the floor, jump out, jump in, and just simply stand up, that's all we're doing. Down, jump out, jump in, stand up. Beautiful work, really nice guys. So halfway through, 20 seconds, and you're gonna feel your heart right now is, is up there. I'm not even doing the full time frame here, so I wanna coach, I wanna keep you motivated, and I'm already feeling warm and feeling good. Heart rate's there, and you're burning calories. You've got seven seconds left, guys. Make it five, four, three, Two and one, beautiful. From there, it is a dumbbell clean. So with two weights, I want your feet to be quite close together for this one. You're gonna tap the floor and then cling the weights to your shoulder. Tap, clean. Look at a profile view. Tap, clean. My back is straight all the way through the movement. Three, two, one, let's go. So push your hips out, clean. Tap the floor, clean. Right next to your ankles. And you're just gonna clean them up to your shoulders, standing nice and tall. <sighs> nice. Come up to that halfway point. So this movement is very similar to, to, the, to that deadlift, to that bent over row. You're hinging, you're flexing at the hips. Pa! Push those sit bones out. 10 seconds left. <laughs> Let's keep working. Nice. Cleans. We're going four, we're going three. We go in two and one. Bingo, nice job. All right, guys, real simple, the gun show. Now, even though I've torn my bicep and had it reattached, I can barely just get in some bicep curls, but real simple. Chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades in. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, I'm not bothered how you do these, what grip you hold, uh, if you want to do the hammer, if you want to do alternating, squeeze it in. If you want to do Y, W curls, whatever you wish, as long as we're working, as long as we're squeezing those guns 
making them pump. Let's squeeze. Nice, guys. You've got about 12 seconds here. Last few repetitions, and then we'll be moving on to the next movement, which is a killer. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, movement number 10 is a thruster. Weights on your shoulders. You're going to hit that deep squat and thrust the weights up. Okay, it's like a squat press, but it's all one movement. Squat, press, thrusters. Woo! We're going to have three, two, one. Here we go. Weights on your shoulders. Squat, press, squat, press, squat, press. Rest here if you want to. Rest with the weights on your shoulders. Keep them in your hands, keep that tension in your body, and we're just going straight back in. Squat, press. You're halfway through, you've got 20 seconds remaining. Phenomenal work, guys. And then we reach the halfway point. Looking good, looking nice, looking nice, looking nice. 10 seconds. Try and give you at least four more repetitions. Come on. Four more repetitions. This is where we have to use our PMA now, okay? Positive mental attitude, pushing through that barrier. Two, one. Recover, nice. That's one round. We're gonna do that all again, okay? So deadlift, high pulls. With those weights in your hand, remember, taking down our pants, lifting up our top, all right? <laughs> We're there in five, four, three, two, and one. Deadlift, high pull. Deadlift, high pull. Now, I like to repeat the movements twice in these 20 minute workouts because one, repetition is key. Two, there's consistency, okay? And three, you get to master the movement, okay? You get to come back to it and now we're really warm. You're probably gonna be moving better. You're probably gonna get more reps in the time and that's what we wanna try to aim for. We wanna work harder within that time frame. You've got eight seconds left. Keep killing it for five, four, Three, two, and one. So we've got those RDLs. And like I said last time, if the weights are kind of throwing you off balance, just use your body. But if you feel confident enough, we're alternating. We're not rushing this movement. Feet come back together, and we're there. We're going four, three, two, and one. Hinging at the hips, keeping the weights nice and close to our body. Nice. Looking good, real good. Hinging at the hips, and this is beautiful because we all have weaknesses, we all have imbalances, and movements like this where we have to isolate and just work on a, a unilateral side, i.e. just one side of our body or one limb. This is where we get stronger, we get better. 10 seconds left, looking good. Woo. And then we move on, then we move on. All right, you're into your last five, a few more reps. Three, two, and one. Skis, okay? Now you've got to hold these weights tight. Push out, swing up, swing down. That's the type of rhythm I really want you to adapt, okay? We're not going crazy. This is a nice pace. Three, two, one, we go. Up. Push your bum out. Feet are hip width apart. On that way up, when you fully extend your body, when you come up, think about your hips pushing forward, and that momentum will do all the work and fling those weights up there. Halfway, less than 20 seconds to go. Make it 15, okay? Killing it. Big skis, big swings. This is a killer, absolute killer. <sighs> we go in five, we go in four, we go in three, two, and one, beautiful stuff. Breathe, take a sip of water. Next one, we're gonna go into that shoulder press, okay? Again, adopt whatever grip you wish. All right, and if you wanna alternate it, as long as you're moving, as long as we're doing, adapting the movement, it's good. Three, two, one, let's go. Push, real nice. Amazing work, guys. Yeah, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in, squeeze in. Nice, you've got about 20 seconds left. 
keep moving, keep moving, keep pressing. Again, with this movement here, you want to squeeze those glutes, push your feet into the floor, you want that solid foundation, strong. Triceps, shoulders, core, you've got five, you've got four, you've got three, two, and one. Nice, you know, guys, we're killing this. We're so absolutely smashing this one. So, overhead tricep extension, both legs touching. And again, you're trying to aim for your biceps to be kissing your ears so that they stay next to your head and we really isolate that muscle. Three, two, one, let's go. And if two weights is too much, that's absolutely fine. You just hold on to one weight. I would hold mine like this. You can hold it that way. I tend to find it's a little bit better with a single weight. Now, weight training, strength training burns more calories, okay? We're, we're pushing our body to its absolute limit here. We're burning more calories and we're becoming stronger in the process. You've got about seven seconds remaining. Awesome work. Make it four, three, two, and one. Nice, guys. Renegade row. This is the one that hurts my arm, but I'll give you a few demonstrations. Pulling it off the floor. You can see my weaker side. Woo. All right, we go to three, two, one. Forgive me for not doing more demonstration reps on that one. Um, but focus on, again, hips parallel to the floor, squeeze your glutes in, and imagine I've got my weights in my hand and we're just pulling. Now, if you can't pull the weights up, again, absolutely fine. Do what I'm doing. Just lift your arm into your chest. And that's a beautiful way to scale, to progress the movement. 15 seconds, looking good. Yes, 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 yes. Last 10, guys. Oh man, only got four to go, beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Modified burpees. So again, from that plank position, okay, you just jump your feet in, stand up. Down, out, in, stand up. Nice. I'll show you a little adaption on jumping back in. Three, two, one, let's go. So, let's try and jump your feet outside those weights and just stand up, okay? It's kind of coming into like a, a frog squat, but that's what I want to see. And again, it's just that rhythm, it's just that tempo. Find a beat in your head and just stick to it. You've got 20 seconds left. Amazing work. Nice, nice, nice. Last 10 seconds, few more reps, looking good. Let's try and aim for at least two, three more. Modified burpees, you've got four, three, two, and one. It's so important that you work to that final second. Next movement, we've got those cleans, those dumbbell cleans. Feet are nice and close together. We're gonna tap the floor by our ankles and thrust our hips and clean those weights up to our shoulders. Three, two, one, let's go. Touch the floor, clean. Touch the floor, clean. Touch the floor, clean. Touch, clean. Touch, clean. Nice, really nice, really nice. Okay, looking at whew, just about 20 seconds in, 20 seconds to go. If you need to rest, stand tall, hold the weights in your hands, and that is the best way to rest because it's almost like an active recovery where you're still actually working. Eight seconds to go, killing it people. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. People, we've got two movements left. The next one is the gun show. We're just gonna go into that bicep curl, squeeze. Oh, elbows stay nice and tight into the body. Chest is up. Shoulder blades trying to touch each other. You're there in four. You're there in three. You're there in two. And one. A little hiccup there. Oh. <sighs> nice, nice, nice. Squeeze. Squeeze. It's a scientific fact. If you look at your bicep when you do it, they grow a little bit more. <clears throat> 
I command you to grow. 20 seconds left. Come on, people. Keep curling. That sounds a bit weird. Keep curling. 10 seconds. Nice. Almost there. Almost there. Coming into four. Coming into three, two, and one. This is it. Final movement. Thrusters. Can you believe it? Thrusters. And they look like this. Little recap. Weights on your shoulders. Deep squat. Press. Squat. Press. Really bounce into that squat. And you're, don't think about shoulder pressing, think about your hips thrusting up, extending, and the way to do the rest. Let's go. All right, we're in. So, squat and extend. Thrust. Hook. Thrust. That's what we want to see. Push it up, push it up. Beautiful work, guys. You've got 30 seconds. No, sorry, way less than that. You now got 20 seconds. Keep working, keep working. This is the final thing you do. I want you lying on the floor. I want you breathing heavily. I want you absolutely exhausted. 10 seconds left. Keep working, keep working, keep pushing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Guys, phenomenal, phenomenal work. That was a beautiful full body dumbbell session. And that's it, you got it in the tank, you got it in the bag. Um, for all, uh, here comes the beeper. Three, two, one. Awesome job, cool down, get some liquid on board, eat some good food, sleep well, stay positive, and I thank you so much for doing this uh, workout. Tell your friends, share the link, and um, subscribe to my channel. I will do my best to keep on posting these workouts for you. I appreciate all the love. And we're just gonna go here, we're gonna go there. Boom, P-M-A. Uh, awesome job. <laughs> yeah.